guys, um, I just want to do a quick video on my tackle and my rod and reel setup, my combo. And I'll be doing another video uh, after Christmas because I'm getting a lot of fishing stuff for Christmas. And yeah, I'll just do a quick recap after Christmas on like all the stuff that was added. Right, so let's first I'll start with my rod and reel. So for a reel, I have Shimano Kanan 150A with 40 pound braid. And then I have a Ducky Ghost rod. And it is 7 foot, medium heavy. I like the Shimano Kanan. It's not out anymore. Only place you can find it is on Amazon. And it's only, most are only right hand retrieve. And then we'll get into my soft plastics. Some missile D bombs, missile baits D bombs. They're golden amber color. You saw it in my last video, I just bought these. Hold on, let me get my light for you guys for lighting. Looks like that. And then and I have these swim baits, power bait swim baits. Look like that. I have another one in my tackle box, I'll pull it out later. Then we have some zoom six inch lizards, pumpkin chartreuse. I haven't caught one on these yet, on one of these yet, but I want to really bad because apparently if you catch one on one of these, it's going to be big. I like Zoom a lot. Zoom is a, I have a lot of Zooms. I have some Strike King Rage Tails. I'll show you what these ones look later, look like later too. They're black and blue. And then I have a new bag of yum dingers and they are black and blue I don't want to pull it out there goes. All right. then I have some big trick worms they're big and they are green pumpkin look like that and then we have some more young dingers, and these are June bug color. It's kind of like a blue with a green, green sparkles, or green glitter. Then we have. I want different ones of these because they're the Super Chunks Blackberry. I just don't think it's a good color. And I only have three more of these. It's like a purple or like a black with like a purple glitter. Sorry. And then we have. I use these for drop shot, the finesse green pumpkin worms. smaller one of those trick worms but I use these for drop shots and then the last two I have a baby brush hog in green pumpkin look like that I want to start using these more too As you can see, almost everything is zoom that I have. And then I have these white flukes, white pearl super flukes. Oh, come on. Like that. 
Alright, that's all for my plastics. And now we will go through my two tackle boxes. I will be getting more soon. For Christmas, obviously. This is my new tackle box. So I have a small bill. Crankbait. Looks like that. Weird. I don't, I don't know what color that is. And then I have a square bill. Looks like that. And then I have a deep diver that looks exactly like that square bill. Looks like that. And I have like a fall colored deep diver. And then I have this shad imitation deep diver. And then I have some poppers, hula poppers. I have two of them. I have like a fall colored like orange and black one. And then I have a like it's like a rainbow colored one. The yellow tail. Then I have a couple jerk bait jerk baits and like small swim baits. Well not swim baits but like small crank baits. Like that. That's a deep diver. I have this. We have a like a small jerk bait, and then we have a bigger jerk bait. If I can get it out, looks like that. And then I have a lipless crankbait, looks like that. And then I have a black frog. I have more frogs somewhere, I don't know where they are. But there's this black frog. I don't know what frog it is. I think it might be, that's not sure. I don't know what frog it is. Alright, here's the rage crawl. Does that show you? It's black and blue. And I have my, I have a couple EWG hooks in here, and then I have my drop shot hooks. I have, I use Ber Berkeley drop shot hooks, size two. And then I have weights, drop shot weights from my last video. And then I have, here's what the white blue looks like on a hook. I have a white chatterbait with a white swim bait trailer. I think it's a. Three eighths chatter bait, and then I have a couple swim baits. I lost one the other day. It was all white. This one's a cheaper swim bait. You might be able to tell. And then here's a another swing bait, and then I have a buzz bait. So I have the braid that's on my reel, Suffolk braid. Super, super cheap braid. I mean, it's not like cheap, like, it's like money cheap. And it is very, very cheap. It's like eight bucks for a hundred yards and it's 40 pounds. This will get me like two spools. Then I have a uh, Berkeley trilene. I have 17 pounds of fluoro. 300 yards, and then I have a box of like weights, it's like a free box, and then I also have another one, I have two of these boxes, free weights, so it's a, uh, it's got, it's got split shots, flip ball weight, yeah, a couple of weights, and that's, Oh, and then if I ever like just want to catch a bluegill or something, I just use some trout eggs. I always put my soft plastics in a uh, in a uh, plastic bag because if it gets wet, then it's not gonna be too good. It's gonna get moldy and it's not gonna 
be used anymore. It won't, it'll be use, useless. And I carry this survival knife with the line inside. I will also be putting like drop shot hooks and a couple other things in here. And then, yeah. And then I also have bug spray and sunscreen in the bottom of it. I can't find what I'm looking for to tell you guys what I do. Oh, here it is. So, if you ever get it like a Lunker Hunt crankbait, you get them in this. So, if you could see, I'll just take this out for you. I need to fix this crankbait because the treble hook, it only has two hooks. I broke off the third hook. It got stuck on my pants, so I had to cut it off, and I have to get this off now. The square bill, if you can see, the square bill's all chipped and stuff. Yeah, this, this crankbait got destroyed, and basically, I have to fix it. Because it's a good crankbait. But I just messed it up. So I just gotta fix it. So I put it in one of these. So I remember. And then I either throw it inside here. If it'll fit. Or I'll just throw it in the bottom of my bag. I have another one. Just keep these. These are very good for like keeping your crankbaits if you ever need to remember to fix one. Or anything like that because if you want to fix one and it's broken you don't really want to throw it back in your tackle box because then you'll forget but if you have it in here you can just leave it out somewhere or like put it in the bottom of your bag because if you just throw let's say you just throw a crankbait in the bottom of your bag like that who cares it's gonna get caught and you're just gonna ruin your bag because you're gonna have to cut it off if you want the crankbait and yeah, it's about it. I wear these gloves. It's cold. These husky gloves. I cut the tips off. Just mount. And yeah, that's about it. For Christmas, I'll be showing you guys what I got for Christmas. And I'll be showing you like my new camera and stuff. Because I'm getting a new GoPro. And yeah. Soon. Oh, I have, it, I have another now. Soon I will be making jigs. I don't know if it's going to be before Christmas I'll start, or after Christmas, I'm most likely going to start after Christmas, but I will be starting to make jigs, that will be on my Instagram page, and it will be on here, I don't know if I'm going to post how to do it, or not, I just have to think, but I'll like post my jigs on the YouTube channel, and the Instagram, and then, yeah, my... I'll have a website to buy jigs and all that. So, thank you for watching again, and I'll see you next time.